On today's episode, I wanna show you a fantastic portfolio of a designer student from Flux Academy, and you're gonna learn a lot by a lot of the amazing thing on this portfolio. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, what is up? Welcome to another portfolio review. I haven't done these in a while, but then I saw the portfolio of Stefan, which I'm about to show you, and I was pretty much blown away because there are so many good things in it. Let's dive right into it. So when you land on this, I love that we have big type here and an image. I always tell about how important it is to kind of get the vibe of who the person is if you're a freelancer. So while we have here kind of a trendy watery effect and this cursor effect, so all, immediately kind of trendy design, it's looking good, it's it's kind of up to date with what's up today. Um, it also has a great kind of value proposition, full stack designer working with startups to create growth driven products and brands. So very clear who's he working with and the focus and kind of unique uh, selling point of what he's focusing about, growth driven and helping them with products and brands. I really, really like this book a free consultation. So very clear call to action. As you can see, everything is kind of like very well treated, the interaction, the call to action. It's not just like a regular button, but it's still very visible that this is a button. And then moving right down into testimonials, always best to start with social proof, seeing that he's worked with multiple clients, they're blown away. Actually, one of them is actually saying, oh my God, what a catch, mind blowing. But this is really great to get started with. Okay, this guy is a pro. And then he's moving into actually talking about the client's problem. So instead of most designers who are immediately running into, let me show you the work, this guy is actually talking a little bit more about what is the problem that he's solving for people, which is your website should turn visitors into engaged customers, it's like having a top performing sales rep working 24 hours a day, seven uh, days a week. So already talking about the problem and kind of prepping them up for the sale. Very good copywriting, I like this. Um, it's all boils down to understanding the user base. So he's explaining about his approach and his philosophy. Also good typography, he's kind of telling the story in the making or breaking. And then we're gonna go down so this is, what do I do? So basically the services, business strategy, design sprints, brand identity, and then capabilities deck. I don't know how useful that is, but I guess some people need that. And then recent project. So again, we've seen this kind of effect previously, the image showing when we're overing over um, a project. It's pretty cool and very well done. By the way, did I say that this website was built with Webflow? really nice use of Webflow. Now, usually here, if you click on the project, it's actually taking you to a new website in a new tab. Now, usually I advise against opening a new tab because you wanna keep people inside your um, inside your own website, but there is one, uh, one place where that is actually a great idea. And that is when you're not just showing images of a website or your portfolio, you're actually taking them to the actual website themselves and then they can actually see how the website actually looks like because you know the best proof is just showing the work not just showing kind of art directed nicely done visuals where actually the actual website is is crap so actually showing hey take a look at the website the website itself is actually live so they did use my project it was i was able to execute it not just nice screenshot, I was actually able to build this and make sure that it does look great at the end. So I really, really like kind of like the showing the actual proof of the actual work as a portfolio and then ending up with kind of a, a an about, kind of a, per, a little bit more personal uh, about him and, and ending with an FAQ, that is so smart. So check out the first kind of question that he explores here. What's the average cost of the project? This is, a lot of people ask me the question, should I put how much I charge on the website? And there's, it's always not not an easy question to answer, but what Stefan does here is he's first, he's telling uh, the potential clients, look, every project is different, so I can't really tell you the price. That being said, typically the clients that come to me and the project that you can see here, they came to me with more than $2,000, but less than $10,000. So he gives them kind of a ballpark to understand what is the range. So if you only have $500, uh, 
that's probably not, uh, don't waste your time contacting me. So by kind of setting up the expectation, I think he's doing great work. And also how long will it takes to create the website? What's the process that I can expect? So he's actually explaining and setting up the expectation, which just means that he's gonna get the, the clients that will reach out are what's called more qualified leads. They have done the, the work to understand who he is and how he's working. So there's a greater chance of them actually being converted into paying co uh, clients and actually sealing the deal. You got a Google project. So this is the end call to action. Um, this is great. Usually you wanna end not just on kind of a footer, but you wanna end with some kind of a call to action to they got to the end, they've read through everything now, let's you know either book a consultation. He actually also gives a drop in email. So what's the difference? This is gonna take you to some Calendly type, yeah. So this is, okay, so it's good that there's two approaches. One of them, to me, booking a call directly on the site is a little bit extreme. I'm not sure I would do this, but it does shorten the, the sales funnel because you're getting on a call with them directly, but he's basically giving them, although he has a main call to action, um, he's also giving them the a action, um, the option for an email. So I think this is really, really great. There's so many th good things, obviously, you know, design-wise, the color scheme, like mainly this grayish with the red ascent, really nice use of color, really nice use of type, really nice use of interaction done in a subtle way, not kind of like trying to overdo this. But I feel like I look at this and I'm confident that Stefan is a good designer and I think potential clients will know this as well, just from going over the portfolio without, I'm not even talking about, you know, clicking and checking out his other work, just by seeing this website, I'm pretty confident that he's a great designer. So I hope you took away some of the notes here about marketing structure um, of a portfolio website. Let me know in the comments below what you liked or didn't like in this website, and I'll see you on the next video.